Hey guys, Buzzkill0612 here. Uh, doing a little different segment today. Generally, uh, I s strictly stick with just firearms, but I decided to do a little tutorial about something else that I kind of have a hobby into. And that hobby is potato guns. As you see here, I got a few of them that I have uh, made, just different retrospects of what you can really do with a potato gun and uh if you guys don't know what a you know, what a potato gun is basically is just a pvc cannon that fires potatoes um they can fire multiple different things besides potatoes and we'll get in that into further detail but we'll uh start with each one and explain you know what their purposes are and we'll go from there the first one I got here is runs off your standard kind of stuff that you would you know, use, uh, use a potato gun for. Uh, you can either use air, uh, hairspray or deodorant, any type of flammable aerosol repellent, and uh, it just uses a grill igniter, which you can see right here. Uh, preferably to use deodorant because deodorant doesn't intentionally doesn't you know stick all over your contacts and generally last a lot longer but you can usually get you know a bag of potatoes and you know, good 40 50 some potatoes for about two dollars and uh, a can of hairspray or deodorant will last you quite a bit of shots because it just keep, takes a couple of sprays and works this one's going off of my kind of bazooka style potato gun uh, I've dubbed it the Megatator as you can see there it's got a custom paint job um, it is flat black and also has a scope that I have made um, what that scope is is actually just a piece of cardboard tubing and I have put a nail I don't know if you'll be able to see it there is a nail at the very end of it uh, and I have just bore sighted it against the barrel and believe it or not, you can hit a man-sized paper target, you know, dead in the chest or the, you know, the head area at about 50 to 70 yards with it. Just by using, I mean, literally it was just some scrap that I had. Uh, I have made it just work to have like a pistol and then actually rest onto your shoulder. The gun is about, see, it's moved just a little bit, but... After everything, it is about 54 inches long, a little over 4 foot, and it's massive. Like I said, all you have to do is unscrew this cap right here. And once you unscrew the cap, this cap's just a little bit stiff. But once you unscrew that cap, all you have to do is just spray in a little bit of stuff. Your uh, deodorant, hairspray, whatever. Once you have your potato lodged in, of course, and then aim down range, and just, you can hear it, and each time, it's just causing a tiny little spark that allows, you know, just a tiny combustion in your combustion chamber, and all that pressure is just going to push the potato out. I also recommend taking, like, a Dremel and sharpening the edge just a little bit because if you have just a you know the flat normal pvc pipe it's kind of really hard to cut your potatoes um but don't cut it too sharp because if you're trying to jam the potato down with your hand you could cut your hand but that's about the first type um your standard potato guns that you see generally people don't make them with a handle and as fancy as i did uh but you can roughly make this gun for about 60 bucks um that is with not paint, of course, and, you know, get your, get your paint and this little foam pads and stuff that I got at the dollar store and just cut pieces out and wrapped it around and glued it. Um, but just with your grill igniter, all the PVC unpainted with the grill igniter, everything could run about 60 bucks. Let's move on to the next one. The second one I'm showing you here, camera focuses a little bit better, is one of the smallest ones I have ever made. Uh... This one can also fire potatoes, but what the general purpose of this one is, is to fire marbles. Because uh, it's got a half inch barrel. 
This one does not go off combustion. This one actually goes off compressed air. So what you would do is you have this little turn off shut off valve here. What you would do is you just turn it off, put whatever type of projectile you were going to put in it, ram it down. And the cool thing about this is this uses my standard threaded style um, receiver here. So you can actually change your barrel sizes. Um, I wanted something I could shoot, you know, pretty small stuff or move up to tennis ball size at a something I could stick in my backpack and take to the uh, and take to the park and just you know play with the dog a little bit or blow some stuff up with it. You have your bicycle style um, air primer here. All you do is just take your compressor or bicycle pump, about three pumps, and you can get up to about 100 to 150 pounds of pressure in this, and it will really, really, really hurt somebody if you hit somebody with a marble. Another cool factor is if you have empty, if you have a 410 shotgun. If you have empty shells, this one's actually full, but if you get done shooting your 410 shells, instead of throwing them away, they have an open air pocket, and these shoot like missiles out of this thing. I've actually shot aluminum buildings and had 410 shells go completely through them with this little contraption. Uh, but yeah, you just tell it's not very big. It is only about two feet long. Um... And, of course, if you take it in half, it's only about, you know, that comes down to about 12 and a half feet. It cuts, you know, cuts pretty small there. If you look there, right where the threads is, it's about a foot long. So it really, really fits in your backpack and really, really nice. And uh, that's definitely one of the smallest ones I've ever made, and it works pretty good. And you can make that one for about 12 bucks. It's really, really cool. Let's move on to the next one. Next, what we have here is one of my usual air guns that you will ever see me shoot is my U-shaped air potato guns. And what's really nice about this model that I've done is I'm actually going to convert this to look like a Covenant carbine from Halo. I'll get in more detail about that later. What you have is a 2-inch air chamber. You have a gauge here. It goes all the way down to this little U. Um, that's just a 92 inch and a street 90 and reduces down to one inch. Uh, the two inch um, ball valve was just a little really really stiff to kind of mess with. But it also uses a threaded barrel. So you can actually change your barrel sizes so you can shoot two inches which is really good. I mean two inch potato you would not believe how fast one of those will actually come out of the barrel. Um, across, the chron across the chronograph, you can get about 250 to 300 feet per second out of, out of, out of a soft 2-inch potato. Or you can thread it down and shoot, you know, just like the smaller one, you can shoot marbles or 410 shells. The great thing about the 1-inch barrel is it's really good for empty 12-gauge shotgun shells. And they shoot just as good as the 410s. Uh, what I've done here is I've cut out a piece of PVC. Is that this is more of like a prototype. I don't know if this I'll stick with this type of design for the handle. But you see here, I've got a small switch. On and off switch. So when I hold this, of course it loops. This is basically like your shoulder pad. You know, like the butt stock of the gun. So you wrap your arms in between here and hold here. So your hand can easily flip on this switch. And what it's going to do, I'm still not done with it yet, it's going to have a shield that I'm going to mount right here. So I can still change the barrels, but it's going to have a shield that I'm going to drill in small divot holes, and it's going to have these LED lights across. And of course, once you turn the LED lights on, get them to plug up here. It's not underneath there. There we go. It's going to have those green Covenant Carbine LEDs going down the shield. So, of course, this is it's not going to be black. It is going to be um, purple across and then have the gray center, just like you would see on a Covenant Carbine. Uh, out of my air gun type guns, this is definitely my most powerful type. Because uh, you can get, you know... 
all day shooting from around 150 PSI, and if your compressor will actually do it, this gun can shoot 300 pounds of pressure, which you would not believe how far <laughs> and how powerful something like this is, and it's really, really accurate. Um, I just rebuilt this U. I just bought an actual piece the first time that looked just like this, but it was all one piece, and it started leaking on me. Um, just because it wouldn't hold in much pressure, but having these two pieces, you can get way better pressure. So, I just mended this one, um, which the other piece worked just fine. I probably shot it a good 500, 600 times before it actually started leaking on me. Um, so, it lasted pretty, pretty long, more than I expected. Um, but I had some other models that I had to make kind of similar to this one. I started using this, and I've shot them 2,000 times, and <laughs> well, just roughly about 1,500 to 2,000 times, and they're still going just strong. So this is one of the first models I had made, and I guess I'm just going to redo this and make it like a Covenant Carbine. Uh, I've made this whole entire thing. You can get the gauge, and it also has a little tire stem valve here. Everything on this gun, of course, not with paint. That's going to cost in the LED lights and all that stuff, but just your standard model. Uh... It's about 40 bucks to make. And of course, it, you know, all these prices are ranging if you, you know, if you know how to make a PVC cannon. And they're not really hard to make. It's just generally just writing down a schematic of how you want something and using your imagination a little bit. As you can see here, it does, the barrel does come off. I did not show this on the other one, but I'll show it on this one. Let me just take it. course it comes off now like with the megatator that i showed you what's kind of bad about it is usually you use like a broomstick to kind of jam your projectiles down it's kind of like a muzzle loader in a way um but generally you have to be really really careful on the megatator because if you jam the rod or the potato too far down it'll actually drop into the chamber and won't fire the great thing about this threaded type is when you cut your diameter, whatever potato is going to be this size, and of course it shrinks down to this little screw one. So the cool thing is, it actually stops and it will not go any farther. So it actually makes a nice little hold for your potato. So you don't have to worry about pushing it too far. Awesome. And of course, you know, you can change your barrel sizes, you know, just getting smaller threads and going to a smaller barrel, or you can make it, you know, to a three inch if you wanted to and shoot tennis balls out of it. Um, this gun right here will shoot a tennis ball uh well <laughs> i can't tell you how far it'll go it'll go over 100 yards um shooting it shooting a tennis ball easy and you know if you're, if you're putting you know the, the compressor up to about 150 to 160 pounds of pressure you will easily 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 shoot this thing over you know 200 yards you know with a tennis ball so it's definitely definitely not a toy uh, but they're definitely something cool. So I was just wanted to share with you guys some of the smaller models that I've made, more of the different type designs that I've made than your standard just potatoes. Now I do have standard potato-looking potato launchers, but I just wanted to show some of the couple of different ones that I've made. And I'll definitely put a another video of when I get this one finished for the Covenant Carbine. Um, and just like and subscribe and tell your friends about it and we'll definitely get some shooting videos out there and hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching